Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and it has been way too long since I have made a happy little fun BJD update video like I usually did, so I am very, very excited to finally be returning to the formula and making my happy fun time updatey woo squee video, so <laughs> yes, very, very, very excited. Of course, if you guys aren't aware for some reason, I have unfortunately not been able to really make videos on this channel for quite a while, which is very, very unfortunate, but prior to this video, I did post a big string of a bunch of different videos, I think five of which were recorded in June, and those were all about sort of BJD updates that I had prior to that point because I was gone for quite a long time. So those videos are all about things that happened prior to the beginning of June. And then the other video that I posted was actually made at the same time as this one, which is the beginning of August. And that one basically tells about like why it was gone for so long and what was sort of happening with me, unfortunately, during the last few months and the sort of struggles that I've had with some health problems and such. So yes, if you guys have not watched those previous videos, I do highly recommend that you do because a lot of things I'm gonna mention in this video are actually relevant to those videos and are kind of necessary to understand this video, I guess, fully. So I definitely recommend going and watching those if you have not already, but yes. And this particular video is actually going to be covering the updates that I have after June. So after those June videos up until now, the little doll updates that I have um, since then, the most recent ones, which aren't actually too many. There's not too many things, um, but they are pretty big things. So I did want to go ahead and let you guys know. And uh, they're very, very fun. I'm excited for them. So yes, yeah, so happy to finally be making videos again. <laughs> So yes, first and foremost though, I do want to say that as fun, as awesome as these updates are, and I'm very, very happy to be feeling well and better again and making videos, of course. The first thing that I want to say is that I'm still going to be very, very busy, I think, for quite a few more months since I'm going to be doing commissions for a very, very lovely person. I'm going to be painting quite a few dolls for them and they are going to be amazing and awesome and I cannot wait to show you guys. Seriously, um, I have so many heads in my house right now, it's crazy. But yes, I'm going to be very, very busy doing commissions and a lot of other things for quite a while. So I probably will not have a ton of time to devote to my own dolls for quite a bit. What I am planning right now is to hopefully take November and maybe even December off and to sort of take some time off for myself and also to work on my own dolls and my own projects and stuff like that. Since these last few months have been incredibly difficult and hard for me, I do really want to take some time off for myself and also to work on my lovely dolly since I have not really been able to since I've been so busy with other things and just crazy life stuff. So yes, hopefully that's what will end up happening. I probably won't be able to get to a lot of this stuff or other things that I've mentioned in my previous videos for a little bit since I will be really busy. But they are on my mind, on my plans, and as soon as I can work on them, I definitely will. So first biggest update, if you guys have not watched my previous video where I talked about my character Hyacinth, I highly recommend that you do since this little topic that I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be about him. Um, <laughs> but for those of you guys who don't know, who've been with me for quite a long time, you guys definitely know, um, <laughs> that I have been talking about a character of mine named Hyacinth for ages and eons. He has been a very, very difficult character for me to pin down as far as finding a proper doll form for, since he has a very, very distinct look and sort of personality, and it was very difficult for me to find the perfect sculpt that encapsulated all the aspects of him that I wanted. And again, definitely go ahead and watch that previous video if you would like to know everything I'm talking about, since I don't want to explain everything here since this video will get incredibly long. But yeah, so my character Hyacinth, I had, in that previous video I had mentioned that I finally decided on a sculpt for him, and that was Immortality of Soul Co? C-O? Co? I don't know. But yes, and I had actually ordered him in the beginning of April, I believe. Yeah, April 2nd, I believe. And that he'll be coming in a few months, but of course that video was made in June, so it actually has been a few months since then. Uh, <laughs> and he has actually arrived. <laughs> yeah, he actually arrived like a few days ago at this point. And I am so, so, so excited. I don't know if he's actually gonna be in the video, like in the picture, if I'm gonna actually record him or put a still image of him or whatever. I'm not entirely sure since again, I don't think I'll have much time to actually work on him or give him a face up. He doesn't have a wig yet, I still have to make that. And he has like no clothes that fit yet because it's a very awkward, unusual size. So I'm not exactly sure if he's actually gonna be in this video, but hopefully he is. You guys can kind of see him a little bit, although he's far from anything right now. Um, <laughs> but yes, he is amazing. Oh 
my gosh. I, like I said, I've only had him for a few days. You guys know, probably know by now, that I'm incredibly, incredibly picky when it comes to the way that my dolls look together. And that's kind of how I judge whether or not a doll works for me, is if I think that they are proportioned and accurate to their characters, while also being proportioned and accurate with the other dolls that are important characters to their own. So, like, you know, brothers and sisters, or like lovers, or parents and children, best friends, that sort of thing. If, if a character is connected to another character of mine, I want their doll forms to be perfect together in my eyes, and also to be canonically correct their own characters. So I'm very, very picky when it comes to that. So I was very worried whether or not Hyacinth would, you know, look proper to Euclid, who is very, very important to his character. They're very, very important to each other. So I was very, like, you know, concerned with that. And also the way that he looked with Faustus, too, because he's very important to Faustus as well. And also just how this particular sculpt encapsulated his character, because, again, he's a very, very difficult character for me. Articulate in a sort of physical medium, because he has a very unique look and expression, and what he expresses is, is very unique, I think. Since if you guys don't know, he is essentially like a very, very young sort of child in a sort of grown man's body. He's like 12 or 13 in a, a, a very adult, mature body. And so I wanted the sculpt that would encapsulate his character to be one that is very masculine and mature, but also that has a sort of tender, childish timidness to it. And the sculpt absolutely does that amazingly well. I love the expression that it has. I think it'll be just perfect for him. I can't entirely know until I have a face up and everything for him, but so far I'm absolutely loving it. He is absolutely gorgeous and his body is amazing. And oh my God, he's so tall. <laughs> I don't want to ramble about this too much, but it was so funny because when the mailman came to the door, I was like, oh my god, that box. Oh, what have they done? It's so huge. I thought that they had actually like sent me the wrong doll because the outer box was so enormous. And I was like, oh, but then I opened the inner box and then I saw that it was a little bit smaller than the outer box. And I was like, you know, like a sigh of relief. But then I was like, that's still an enormous box. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was crazy. He is absolutely huge. It really did take me by surprise because obviously like I have been researching this particular doll and the, the size that they are and finding owner pictures and, and comparisons and everything like that like crazy prior to actually getting him. But still, like, you never fully understand, like, the size or look of a doll until you actually have them in your hands. It's just a different experience. You can look at pictures all day long, but until you actually have them in your hands, you never fully understand, like, details of that particular doll. So... Yes, he is absolutely huge, but it works perfectly for his character since, of course, he is supposed to be very, very tall and very masculine and everything. But yes, the height difference between him and Euclid is amazing. It's so crazy. It's I love it. It's so perfect. His hands can li literally, like, crush Euclid's hands. Like, they're huge. It's amazing. So I can't wait to go ahead and show you guys. I actually really am loving the way they look together, too. Like I said, it's hard to say because I've just gotten him and he doesn't even have a face up or anything yet, but I'm loving the way they look so far. But I'm hoping, crossing all my fingers and toes, that it will work out just as I imagine it. And I think it will so far, so I'm very, very, very excited, very relieved. This might work out as a perfect sculpt for him, and I'm just like, ah, finally! <laughs> so, it's so surreal to actually have him as a doll, since I've been wanting his character as a doll for ages and just have never found something that actually worked. So it's really weird and strange and surreal to actually see him as a doll, especially since he's so unfinished right now. Like he still has so much more work to do, so it'll be a while till he's really, I can really gauge exactly how he's doing. But so far I absolutely adore him, love him so much. So enough rambling about Hyacinth, I have one other really really big update that I want to go ahead and tell you guys about. and. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter or anything like that, you guys might not even know about this whatsoever. I think that's the only place that I've even mentioned it. <laughs> um, so it might seem like it's kind of coming out of nowhere, but bear with me here. It is certainly not. This might be a little bit difficult to explain a little bit long, but hopefully I can get it as the best that I can so you guys can understand. So for those of you guys who have been with me for a while, you guys know that I had a little fee NF faceplate who I thought would work for my character whose name is Rue. And Rue is an important character to my Egyptian characters. So like River and Rom, my lovely bronze Zoom dolls. He is a character that's very important to them and their story. And without getting too much into it, but without spoiling too much, I think I might make a separate video about him later on. But just putting it in layman's terms, Rue is essentially a sort of a spirit, if you will, 
not quite like a ghost, but I guess you can kind of consider him that. But he's like essentially like a spirit, and he is attached to that of river who is my assumed Trond, of course. Um, <laughs> and he is sort of literally attached um, within the soul of River. He is a part of him. Because essentially what happens in River's story is that in their universe, they consider the soul to be split into three separate pieces. And in River's case, two of the pieces of his soul were removed and replaced with two other pieces of two other people's souls. So one is an unwilling participant and one is a willing participant and in this case Rue is actually the unwilling participant. A piece of uh, Rue's existence of Rue's soul is actually put into River and River can actually sort of see him as like an ethereal being or a spirit. I kind of think of him as like a moral compass or maybe even a conscience to River but not quite. It's, it's a little bit hard to explain but I'll get into it in another video I am sure. But yes, yeah, so he is very very important to River. He makes River part of what he is. He makes a, a big physical and emotional uh, change in River, which I will talk about hopefully in a later time. But yes, yeah, so he is bound to River and later on, of course, also to Rom in certain ways. I've wanted to have his character as a doll for a long time since he is a very important character to my Egyptian characters, but I've always sort of struggled with actually pinpointing the sculpt that I want for him or what direction that I want to take. And that's because he because he is like a ethereal spirit, a very mystical, unusual, strange being, even in their world, which is full of strange and unusual sort of animal-like people in their world, he is a very um, unique sort of existence, a very unique creature. And the more I thought to think about it, I thought that it would be better if Rue was represented as not as like a human per se, like a, like a regular doll like River and Rom are, but more as a very unique type of doll that was unlike them, that looked mystical and and magical and ethereal and very different. Like when you look at him compared to like River, say, you can tell that they're very different beings. And I thought that would work for him so much better and get his character across much better. And Rue is very interesting as a character because he actually gets like, you know, a lot of different forms because he's constantly being like, you know, reincarnated. He has his like regular human form and then he has the spirit form and then a bunch more things happen to him later on. So he has a lot of different forms and a lot of different looks over the years, over time. So he's a very, very interesting character in that aspect. So trying to pick like the particular form that I wanted for him and the sort of style that I wanted for him was very, very interesting. But eventually I settled on this particular doll because it's, it's one that I absolutely adore and I think that it's so unique and different and really suits the sort of strangeness that I wanted for, for Rue. And if you guys don't know, I'm talking about uh, CO2 is the company and I believe the doll's name is Ragdoll. But yes, it is the most adorable little anime cat. It's like, it's an anime style doll, but it has these like wide hips and these big chunky little legs and these tiny little cat paws and these cute little like human hands and everything it is the most adorable thing ever if you guys have not seen it i will link it to you guys in the description because it's the most cute adorable thing ever and i love it so much i love the aesthetic of this doll oh my god and this whole company honestly i absolutely adore their aesthetic they're a fairly new company that's only really gotten like exposure in the last year but i have been following that particular artist and that company for a very, very long time. Um, I found them randomly on Taobao like ages ago. So I've been wanting dolls from this particular company for ages and just have unfortunately never been able to get one. But I love their little tiny like animal village dolls and I wanna get all of them someday. <laughs> I have some ideas for a few of them, but yes. So I originally thought that one of their other little animal dolls would be a suitable option for Rue, but the more that I got to thinking about it and when I saw this particular sculpt, I'm like, that is it. That is perfect. So yes, it is so, so cute. I cannot wait. Um, but it will be very, very different and unusual. And I link some, I think I'll well, probably link it in the description, but I made a sort of mock-up sketch doodle thing of what I have in mind for his particular character, which hopefully I will link in the description. You guys can kind of see what I'm going for. It's very, very unique and different and strange. And the sculpt is like a anime style doll. So it's very, very different. And we'll see how it actually comes together. But I'm very, very excited about it because I think it'll be a really, really fun, unique, like very, very different project um, and a very, very awesome thing to add to my collection. So cool. I hope it'll work out the way I intend. And I just, I'm really happy to actually have a, like a real anime doll since, 
you know, I've been drawing anime for years and I've never owned an anime style doll. So I think that'll be really, really exciting. I'm looking forward to him. He looks so cute. I cannot wait. I actually put him on a layaway. So I probably will not get him for another few months since I put him on a long layaway. But hopefully he will be super, super cute and work out for what I have in mind. My cat is meowing the door. You hear that? Do you hear that? Oh, now he stops. Oh, no, there it goes. Anyway, yes, he is being a jerk at my door. So that's all updates that I actually have um, is that Hyacinth arrived and Rue is ordered. And I probably will not be able to work on Rue for ages since I have so many other things to work on, both my own projects and other people's projects and everything. So we shall see. But I'm very, very, very excited for both. I'm working on both of them. And I cannot wait to see Rue and show you guys too since... I don't think a lot of people order this particular sculpt, but it's so adorable and it deserves to be shown. So I'm super excited when I actually get it and I can show you guys. So thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Sefi says hi as well. He's being a big jerk meowing at my door. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll have more fun, awesome updates for you soon. Or at the very least, more little character whatever videos for you guys since I'm very, very excited to be making videos again and feeling a lot better. So yes, thank you guys so, so very much. <laughs> Goodbye.